Go to sleep. Let's have fun, relax, and drift off to dreamland together. Don't forget to subscribe and join me on the sleepy adventure. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived a girl named Cinderella. Now, Cinderella was not an ordinary girl. She had an unusually strong affinity for shoes. She adored shoes of all kinds, from dainty slippers to rugged boots. Her eyes would light up at the mere sight of a shoe, and she would spend hours staring at them in shop windows. However, in the same village, there resided her stepmother and two stepsisters. They were known for their unconventional fashion sense. They had a peculiar fondness for wearing socks with sandals. Yes, you heard that right, socks with sandals. Their mismatched combinations and clashing colors would make the villagers cringe whenever they walked by. Yet, they found great amusement in teasing Cinderella about her love for shoes. Oh, Cinderella, they would giggle. Why waste your time on shoes when you can experience the ultimate comfort of socks and sandals? Cinderella's days were spent tending to the chores of the household under the watchful eye of her stepmother. She dreamt of the day she could escape the monotony and showcase her love for shoes to the world. She often fantasized about creating the most extraordinary pair of shoes the village had ever seen, a pair that would make everyone understand the allure of footwear. One fateful day, news spread through the village about the upcoming royal shoe contest. The king was on the hunt for a master shoe designer to create a one-of-a-kind pair of shoes for the grand ball. The winner would receive a magical prize that would change their life forever. When Cinderella heard of this contest, her heart skipped a beat. This was her chance to prove to the world that shoes were not just mere accessories, but works of art that could captivate hearts. With a newfound determination, Cinderella gathered materials from far and wide, fine silks, delicate lace, and even a sprinkle of stardust. She worked tirelessly, stitching and sewing, pouring her passion into every stitch. She imagined the sensation of walking on clouds, the ultimate comfort and elegance that her shoes would provide. As the day of the royal ball drew near, Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters busied themselves with finding the most colorful socks to pair with their sandals. They scoffed at Cinderella's dedication, convinced that her dreams of creating magical shoes were nothing more than a fanciful whim. But on the night of the ball, as Cinderella put the finishing touches on her creation, something truly magical happened. The shoes seemed to shimmer with a gentle light and a soft breeze of stardust enveloped them. With trembling hands, Cinderella slipped the shoes onto her feet and felt an incredible sensation. It was as if she was walking on air, her dreams finally taking form. At the ball, as the king laid eyes on Cinderella's creation, he was utterly enchanted. He admired the intricate details and craftsmanship, and when he slipped the shoes on, he felt a sensation of indescribable comfort. The shoes fit perfectly, and he declared Cinderella the winner of the royal shoe contest. Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters were left in stunned silence. Their socks and sandals were overshadowed by the sheer beauty and magic of Cinderella's shoes. The entire village erupted in applause as Cinderella danced with the king, her feet moving gracefully and effortlessly. And so, Cinderella's passion for shoes became a lifelong journey of creating footwear that brought joy and happiness to all who wore them. 
Her creativity inspired generations to appreciate the artistry of shoes, and her legacy lived on. As the years went by, Cinderella's reputation as a master shoe designer grew far and wide. People from neighboring kingdoms would travel great distances to have a pair of shoes crafted by her skilled hands. Each pair was a work of art, meticulously designed to provide both comfort and style. Cinderella's shop became a haven for shoe enthusiasts and those who simply wanted to experience the magic of her creations. Her stepmother and stepsisters, once so quick to mock her, now looked upon her with envy as they saw the success and happiness she had achieved through her passion. One day, a special visitor arrived at Cinderella's shop, a young girl named Mia. Mia had always felt out of place in the bustling city, where the fashion trends seemed to change overnight. She longed for something more timeless, something that spoke to her heart. When she heard of Cinderella's legendary shoes, she knew she had to see them for herself. Cinderella welcomed Mia warmly and listened to her story. Mia explained how she had a dream of dancing at the Grand Masquerade Ball, but she couldn't find the right shoes to match her vision. Cinderella's eyes sparkled with understanding, and she set to work creating a pair of shoes that would capture the essence of Mia's dream. Weeks passed, and as the day of the ball approached, Cinderella presented Mia with a pair of shoes unlike any other. These shoes were not just footwear, they were a reflection of Mia's dreams and desires. With every step, Mia felt as if she was dancing on air, and the shoes seemed to glow with an ethereal light. At the masquerade ball, Mia's entrance was nothing short of enchanting. As she danced, the shoes sparkled and shimmered, drawing the attention of everyone in the room. The prince himself couldn't take his eyes off her, and he knew he had to meet the mysterious girl with the extraordinary shoes. As the clock struck midnight, Mia bid a hasty farewell, leaving behind a single shoe as she fled the palace. The prince, determined to find the owner of the magical shoes, embarked on a kingdom-wide search. Cinderella's creation had left an indelible mark on his heart, and he was determined to find the woman who had danced her way into his soul. Word of the prince's quest reached Cinderella, and she couldn't help but smile. Her shoes had once again brought magic and excitement to someone's life. With a heart full of hope, she continued her work, creating shoes that were not just footwear, but symbols of dreams coming true. And so, in a twist of fate, the prince's search led him to Cinderella's shop. As their eyes met, they both felt a connection that transcended words. The prince recognized the kindred spirit behind the magic shoes, and Cinderella saw in him a heart that understood the beauty of dreams. They fell in love, their hearts united by a shared appreciation for the extraordinary. The kingdom rejoiced at the union, and the Grand Masquerade Ball became an annual tradition to celebrate the power of dreams and the magic of Cinderella's shoes. And so Cinderella's legacy continued, not just as a master shoe designer, but as a storyteller who wove dreams into every pair of shoes she created. And as for Mia and the prince, they danced through life hand in hand, their steps guided by the magic of a single shoe that had brought them together. Thanks for joining me tonight. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more magical bedtime tales. Wishing you sweet dreams. See you in the next storytime adventure. Good night.